Hi, my name is Peter Wonkelman. Uh, I'm National Sales Manager for Ultimate Medical. And today I would like to detail the Easy Stand Bantam Medium Standard. The Bantam Medium is the third standard in the Bantam line. We now have the Bantam Extra Small for individuals 28 to 40 inches tall, up to 50 pounds. The Bantam Small for individuals from 36 to 54 inches tall, up to 100 pounds. And now the new Bantam Medium for individuals from 48 inches to 66 inches and 200 pounds. The same size range as the Evolve Medium Standard. The Bantam series of standards with the three sizes now allow for individuals who require alternative positioning other than 90-90 seating, a standing option from about a year old to, uh, in many cases, adulthood, a lifetime of, of standing opportunity with the Bantam series. So today we're going to take a closer look at the Bantam medium. The Bantam Medium, like all Bantam standards, is a sit-to-stand standard with a supine option. So that means we can transfer the client into the device in a 90-90 seated position, transition from that seated position to a standing position. But with the Bantam series, we're able to shift into a supine position as well. I'm going to take the tray off. Uh, I think you can better see the supine features on this. So I loosen the knobs, then pull the red plunger pin out, and that allows me to freely remove the shadow tray. To change position, uh, back angle, knee angle, I will shift the control knob. The control knob controls all seating positioning. Uh, it's a single point control. To operate the control knob, I lift the red safety collar, lift the red safety collar, and shift to the desired position. I'm going to shift from sit to stand to neutral. Going into neutral allows me to manually position the hip angle, knee angle, at any point from 90-90 seated to a true supine or a flat supine position. I can lock in there or anywhere in between. So if I'm working with a client who, uh, with hip flexion or knee flexion contractures, limited range of motion, I can match that individual's contractures with the profile of the support surface, lock it in at that point, and that, that locks the hip angle in. We can now go from transfer into the device in that position, in that modified supine position. I would want to flip the knee blocks away, loosen the straps, uh, the seat belt and anterior harness, uh, get ready for the transfer and load into the device. Now we can go from the supine position on up to standing. Most, in, in many cases, uh, in many situations, we're dealing with limited range of motion due to tightness and not fixed contractures. If that's the case, oftentimes that sustained weight-bearing stretch will cause a release to occur. If that happens, I'm going to want to open up that hip angle, uh, maintain the stretch throughout a, the time in the standard. That sustained weight-bearing stretch is one of the significant benefits of a standing program. So I'm going to lift the red collar. I'm going to shift from the supine position to the sit-to-stand position. Now that allows me to open up that angle and to maintain that stretch throughout the period of time in the standard. For clients who are capable of going to a full standing position, we're able to achieve excellent standing posture. Good full hip extension, good vertical uh, alignment. Independent angle adjustment on the back, 
uh, again for that vertical alignment that we're looking for. Now, we've gone up from a supine position. Let's go back down to a seated position. There are a lot of advantages to that sit to stand system that Easy Stand pioneered. I will shift from sit to, I will shift from uh, supine to sit to stand. Now, go back to the seated position. Again, I can stop at any point between vertical standing and 90-90 seated. All right, at the beginning of the presentation, we talked about the uh, size range that, of individuals that will fit in the medium bantam. Individuals from 48 to 66 inches tall, 4 feet to 5 feet 6 inches tall, and up to 200 pounds. We achieved this size range through a number of tool-free adjustments that I want to make prior to transferring my client into the device. The first adjustment I'm going to make is on seat depth. Uh, the first step in making that seat depth adjustment is I want to loosen the ratcheting handle here on the uh, lower the seat frame right side. So I will loosen that. One full turn is adequate. We don't need to uh, loosen it to the point where it comes free of the device. Next, I'm going to spin this around. We have a tube in tube assembly that is color coded like uh, all Easy Stand products. Uh, we go from blue, the shortest seat depth, in this case a 14 inch seat depth, to green, the tallest seat depth, in this case a 19 inch seat depth. To change that, I simply depress the silver spring pin holding onto the back and now pivot my seat. I've gone by orange. We'll go to red and the spring pin will click in, locking it in place. Next, I want to adjust the follow tubes. There is a window that uh, I will see the color that I want to match. Red, I'm currently on yellow, I want to move to red. So I will loosen with a firm grip holding the back. I will loosen the two securing knobs, then flip the plunger pin. And again, it's very important that while we do this, we hold on to the back. Flip the plunger, plunger pin. I just pivoted down to the red setting. I will tighten and flip my red knobs, then wiggle the back back and forth until the plunger pins set in the home position. You will hear an audible click when they set. So I've set the seat depth to red. I've set the follow tubes to red. We've just made a two inch seat depth adjustment. It's on a roller bearing. It's very manageable for a, a single person to make in a short period of time. The next adjustment I'm going to make prior to transferring my client into the device is foot plate adjustment. Now the standard foot plates on the Bantam Medium um, are uh, available in three sizes, a small, medium, and larger size sandal. Uh, the standard foot plates are adjustable in height only. The multi-adjust foot plates, optional multi-adjust foot plates, uh, are, provide for up to 20 degrees dorsiflexion, 20 degrees plantar flexion. Vertical adjustment, lock it in at the desired height, an angle. Next, with the multi-adjust foot plates, I have fore and aft positioning options, toe in, toe out positioning options. So adjust position the sandal as desired. Next, I'll adjust the knee blocks. Uh, the standard knee blocks are uh, available in, with depth adjustment only. There are two different size pads available. With the optional swing away knee blocks, the red, depress the red button, swing the uh, knee block away for transfers, we have added both width adjustment as well as height adjustment on the pad. Now a note, something to note, 
when doing a lateral transfer into the device with the swing away knee pads, it may be necessary to remove the knee pad as that it's possible when swinging away that could be in, in the way of the front caster. If that's the case, then we simply loosen the knob here on the side and remove the pad for transfer. Reposition it and tighten it down. So we've made the seat depth adjustment, we've adjusted height and angle on our foot plates, we've made the height uh, and width adjustment on our knee blocks if we're using the multi-adjustable knee pad. The last adjustment I'm going to make prior to transferring my client into the device, uh, providing that I'm using the optional shadow tray, I want to adjust the tray height. I loosen knobs. I have about eight inches of vertical adjustment. They, the two sides adjust together so you're assured of having uh, the same height on both left and right side. Lock those into place and we're ready to transfer our client into the device. Now, when we, have many, we have a number of options for transfer. We certainly can transfer the individual into the device into the 90-90 seated position. The advantage of the Bantam series of standards is that we can transfer in anywhere from 90-90 seated to a flat supine seating system uh, and anywhere in between. Um, I'm often asked why or when would I choose the Bantam standard over the Medium Evolve, a standard that fits the same size range of individuals. My answer to that would be if my client is not capable of sitting in a 90-90 position, that is a situation where the Bantam medium can be uh, of great help. So let's get ready for that transfer. Let's imagine that I'm transferring a very low tone individual into the device, for example. I would shift, let me spin this around. I would shift my control from the sit to stand to the neutral position. I would set the hip angle, knee angle, in a slightly reclined position so I get that gravitational assist when transferring the client in to, to hold that positioning. Shift from there to supine, that locks that angle into place. We can then do the transfer and bring our client up to a supported weight-bearing position. All right, we brought our client up uh, from the transfer position, that modified supine position. We come up to a weight-bearing position. We've been there for a while. Uh, a release has occurred. We want to open up the hip angle, open up the knee angle uh, to maintain that stretch throughout the period of time in the standard. There's two different ways I can achieve this. I'm going to shift from sit to stand to the neutral position. Now, holding the back, I can allow the unit to come back to the desired hip angle, knee angle. Shift back into supine, that locks that into place. The other up end, we can go then on up to the standing position. The other option I have is, let's go back to neutral, manually adjust that angle, shift it to the sit to stand position, and open up the hip angle only. So, I'll, truly an alternative positioning device. Uh, many options from 90-90 seating to a flat zero degree supine uh, up to a 90 degree vertical standing. Uh, this unit I fully expect will be used as an alternative seating positioning, uh, act, uh, an activity chair if you will, in school settings around the country just like the Bantam Small and Extra Small are currently being used. 
So let's talk a little bit about uh, standard features with the Bantam Medium and optional features with the Bantam Medium. First, standard configuration, and I'll start at uh, the front end. The standard Bantam Medium features front wheels. There are swivel casters, front swivel casters available. Um, the standard anterior support on the Bantam Medium is a no tray option, uh, H swing away H frame with a thoracic anterior support. Uh, that is available with the supine option. It, if you're using the standard in a supine position, we need to swing that H frame away to bring it into a true or full supine position. Um, next. The, as I mentioned before, we have uh, standard foot plates available in three different sizes uh, with vertical adjustment only. The optional multi-adjust foot plates features 20 degrees dorsiflexion, 20 degrees plantar flexion, as well as toe in, toe out, fore and aft adjustment on the foot plates. The knee pads, the standard knee pad we feature has depth adjustment only. The optional swing away knee pads feature that swing away capability as well as height adjustment on the pad and width adjustment on the pad. There are two different sizes of pads available. The upholstery. Standard upholstery is a planar seating system. The contour seat, contour back are optional uh, seating systems. With the planar upholstery or planar seating system, there are hip guides available, lateral supports available. Uh, our head supports, there's three different size head supports available. Our head supports adjust vertically as well as depth and the pad itself is on a ball system so I can adjust angle and positioning of the pad. Uh, in addition to our head supports, we also have mounting capabilities to use other manufacturers' head supports as well. So if you're looking for a more aggressive head support than what we offer, uh, that option is available through other manufacturers. Um, tray options. We have the shadow tray available. Uh, the shadow tray, as we covered a little earlier, is height adjustable, as well as depth adjustable, and angle adjustable. I loosen up the locking ratcheting handles on each side uh, while holding the tray, and I can adjust it and lock the angle in uh, as desired. This allows me to use the tray in a, with a supine feature and maintain a horizontal surface to work on in that supine position or slight supine position uh, as well as in the vertical position uh, or utilize the tray as a support prompt as it's often done. There's a few things that are unique to the Bantam Medium that I want to go over now. Um, first is on seat depth adjustment. Whenever you make a seat depth adjustment, first of all, make sure that the controller is in the sit to stand position and the seating system is at 90-90. It's very important when we make that adjustment that we hold on to the back while making the adjustment. Let me go through. I'm going to loosen the follow tube knobs, flip the red levers out. If I'm not holding on to the back, it will free fall which could cause injury. So, when making that adjustment, be sure you hold on to the back through the whole process. Now, I've gone from, I'm in green, through my window, I've gone to green. I want to flip the red plungers in and tighten the knobs. That locks into place. Next. Um, when standing from a supine position or a hip flexion position, let me shift this to neutral, provide a little hip flexion, 
Now I'm going to shift to supine and lock that hip flexion angle into place. Let's go from here to the standing position. It pumps up freely, or if we're using a power up option, it will come up freely to the point where the foot riggings are perpendicular to the floor. At that point, it, the power up option will simply stop. The pump becomes very difficult. Stop at that point. Uh, if I continue to try to force this, it puts too much pressure on the mech locks, providing, which uh, causes a loud popping sound when I shift from the supine position to the sit to stand. If I'm shifting into sit to stand, I want to make sure I hear an audible click with the front riggings, that they're perpendicular to the floor and we get that audible click. That locks the foot plates, the front rigging into place. Now when I go back to the seated position, it operates correctly. So let's go through the order form for the medium bantam. Um, the first thing we want to look at is the actuator handle location. We can uh, choose the base model, which the actuator handle will be mounted on the right side, or order it mounted on the left side. We need to choose foot plate uh, size. We have a small, medium, and large foot plate available. Check the one desired. Next, the knee pad size, a small and a medium, a 4 inch and a 5.5 inch, which is the base model. Um, remember that the supine uh, is an option. Remember that the back on the medium bantam is optional. You have a number of different back options available. The planar back is available in a 15 and 19 inch back height, as is the contour back. Now something just to keep in mind to avoid, hopefully avoid any confusion, uh, on the high back, the 19 inch back, that's measured from the seat plane to the top of the back. It measures 19 inches. Uh, the shorter back, seat plane to top of the back, measures 15 inches. It just so happens that the pad size on the high back is also 15 inches. So don't let that confuse you. Always measure from the seat, pain, the seat plane to the top of the back. Um, other options that we need to look at and dimensions, uh, the planar backs are 10 and a half inches wide, the contour short back is 11 inches wide, the contour high back 12 inches wide. Uh, the, and again, the back height is measured from the uh, plane of the seat to the top of the back. Those backs are independently adjustable uh, and that is a standard feature with the back option. Um, Next, we need to look, choose our lift mechanism. Uh, again, the hydraulic lift is the standard. The power-up is optional. We have quad grip extensions for the, uh, the um, hydraulic. We have a T-style extension available as well. Trays available. We have the black molded shadow tray uh, as well as a clear acrylic shadow tray. We have uh, the swing-away tray option available with the black molded tray, uh, an oversized clear tray, or a clear tray for swing away. Uh, tray accessories, we have hand grips available, uh, two sizes of elbow pads, uh, a 9.25 inch cutout and an 11 inch cutout, I'm sorry, three sizes as well as a 13 inch cutout. Uh, we also have a large contour chest pad available and a padded tray cover. Okay, once again, the, the back is optional. Once we've added that back option, there are a number of other uh, options that are available. The, these would include two different styles of X style, of X style chest vests, uh, as well as two different sizes of Y style chest vests. We have head supports available with uh, three different sizes of pads. We have uh, push handles available to move the unit from place to place more easily. And we have uh, a tool pouch available to hold the tools in, uh, on the unit. 
Now, one thing that we want to emphasize with the supine option, it must be ordered at the time of the original order. That cannot be added to the medium uh, bantam after the fact, after the original order. That's the easy stand bantam. Uh, let's open it up for questions. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer any questions you guys might have. Visit us at easystand.com. Easy Stand. Standing made easy.